Tomorrow marks four months since a strong storm hit San Diego and displaced hundreds of families in the southeastern part of the city. Good evening, I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Just hours ago, San Diego's Housing Authority gave city council members an in-depth look at the work that's been done to help flood victims. CBS 8's Rocia De La Fe has details. There are over 400 families that are still staying at local hotels through the temporary lodging program, but that program is set to expire next month. The Housing Authority told city council members today they are continuing their work to help families find safe and stable housing. They've lost everything, so not just their housing, they've lost a lot of the resources that they had at their disposal. Hundreds of households across San Diego still face an uphill climb to get back into permanent housing. So our focus is standing up programs that can help people get back into permanent or longer term housing solutions before that program ends. Nearly four months after catastrophic storms swept through the region, data from the San Diego Housing Authority shows 443 families are currently living in hotels. The average income of folks that we've seen is about $1,700 a month. So these are extremely low-income families that are going to need some additional support and assistance. Tonight, the Housing Authority went into detail about how it visited families displaced by the storm. So far, it has checked in with nearly 130 families to get an idea of what they need right now. Some of the issues included problems with landlords or needs for repairs. The Housing Authority went on to say a lot more work is needed to help those still without a home. The goal is to find out whether folks can return to their previous homes, whether landlords will have repairs made by that time or not, if they need to move to a new home. In April, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors approved an extension to the voucher program that allows displaced families to stay in local hotels, but that help is set to expire June 21st. A lot of these families have high barriers. They were still recovering in a lot of other ways. Those still in need are encouraged to reach out to the Housing Authority for help. To find out more information and learn more about what resources are available, go to cbsa.com and click on the online version of the story. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8. Thanks, Rocio. We have shared many of your stories over the last four months. Tomorrow on all editions of CBS 8 News, we will be back live in some of the areas affected. We will take an in-depth look at the challenges many of you who live in places like Mountain View and Spring Valley still face. And we'll tell you what progress has been made there since January.